Hi and welcome to this uh, lesson for I Don't Want It from Black Box Revelation. It's a fairly easy song, it has a really long solo, it's about a minute or something. Um, this is the first part, in this part we'll um, take a look at the uh, intro, verse, uh, chorus and uh, a, a small mini bridge solo like thing. And then in the second part we'll take a look at the solo itself. So let's get started. Alright, so the intro and the verse go like this. And then it starts again. So it's this loop, uh, it's these few chords um, that are repeated over and over again. The same chords are used in the chorus too. Okay, so if we take a closer look, we're at the um, fifth fret with the index finger. Uh, those four chords are all power chords. We're at the fifth fret uh, with, on the uh, top string with the index finger, and then the ring finger and pinky go on the um, second and third string on the seventh fret. You've got this chord, you only play like the top uh, three strings. Uh, the rest are. Um, should be muted by your uh, index finger. Um, so it's easiest if you keep playing, uh, you keep strumming even though you're not um, hitting any strings because it'll be easier to play in the right rhythm. Um, so he plays this for the first chord on 577. Seven. Right, and then he switches. So he plays downstroke and then when you keep moving and then when the, the, the rhythm is right you play two upstrokes so you play right and then you play up down up before you switch so and then you go to the other chord instead of two hits you play uh, three hits. It's up, down, up if you keep playing in the same rhythm. So. And then again, three times up, down, up. And then you go to the um, strings below. You just drop all your fingers one string. So you're at 5, 7, 7, but on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th string. So you play also 1 and then 3 times. And then you play 3 times again. And then you uh, move again to uh, 3, 5, 5, the same uh, height of strings. So. After a slow chord, we just jump back to the first position on the uh, first, second, and third string on the uh, fifth and seventh fret. So you go. So you play the same as the uh, first um, part, and then you jump for four strokes to the uh, second chord. Uh, to go back and start the loop again, so you got So there the whole uh, part starts again uh, So that's it for the verse and then when the chorus starts you got like a transmission so when you come from this low chord So when you come from this low chord, you stop with the chopping and, and, and splitting the strokes. You just do up and down strokes. And then right before the chorus starts, you go to the two lower um, chords and you play. You play just two strokes on the two lower, so you got. And then the chorus starts, right? So you get. And 
and then that's the course. Um, so that's not too hard, um, we just have to think about it and now let's take a look at the course. The chorus actually is just the intro and verse part, uh, but without uh, chopping the sound, and you just um, you just keep doing up and down stroke. Uh, you keep just keep strumming, so it sounds like this. And then it repeats itself, and then the last time we just start with the verse again. Um, so that's really just the chorus, that's all there is. Um, let's take a look at the um, bridge mini solo part. So after two minutes into the song, I think after the first chorus, he starts playing the verse again, and then he plays this mini uh, bridge solo part, and he plays this. So that's the solo, it might sound harder than it actually is, you might need a little bit of practice to get it up to speed, but uh, let's take a closer look at it, so it plays this. So you start at the third string from the bottom, uh, seventh fret, with your ring finger, preferably, and then you hammer on pull off from the uh, fifth fret to the seventh fret, so you play. And then you play 7 again, like, and try to lift your finger a bit so the note stops. And then you bend and release uh, 7th fret again. Right, so just bend and release it again. And then you go to the string above 7th fret. And then you go to the 5th fret again on the 3rd thir string from the bottom. So you got... And then you go 7-5, seven, 7-5 five, seven, five on the 3rd um, string from the top. So ever it is. And then you go to the uh, string below again, so 3rd string from the bottom. Five, seven, five. And then you bend seven, play seven normally, five and seven and seven to end. So slowly. That's all there is to it. Um, you might need a little practice to get it up to speed and to get the right uh, rhythm. Uh, it's actually easier to practice if you play along with the song um, because he plays it in the right rhythm. Um, but it's it's important that you keep playing and you keep switching fast uh, so you don't lose um, uh, speed. Uh, so that's um, the entire song except for the solo which we'll do in the second part. Alright, that was the entire song. It was, I think, it's a pretty easy song. Uh, next is the solo. I'll teach it to you. Uh, we'll take a look at it and cut it into pieces and then glue everything together in the end. Uh, the solo itself isn't too hard. The hardest part probably will be just memorizing all the notes and parts. Uh, so I'll see you there if you want to learn the solo and otherwise just uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.